Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we are implementing examples using Spring Boot and Azure. In one of the previous tutorials, we implemented an example to deploy a containerized Spring Boot application to Azure App Service. In this tutorial, we will be implementing an example to deploy a Spring Boot application jar file to Azure App Service. This will be taking reference of my website javainews.com. So here go to Spring Boot Azure Tutorials. In Spring Boot Azure Tutorials, the example that we will be implementing today is deploy a Spring Boot application jar file to Azure App Service. In a previous tutorial, we deployed a containerized Spring Boot application to Azure App Service. Go to this tutorial here. So in this tutorial, we had created a Spring Boot application. Then using the Docker file, we created a Docker image for this Spring Boot application. Push this Docker image to the Azure Container Registry. Then in the Azure App Portal, we deployed an Azure App Service using the image that we had pushed to this Azure Container Registry. Once deployed, this Azure Web App Service can be accessed by the user. For this tutorial, you can go through the YouTube video here. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a Spring Boot 3 application and deploying it as an Azure App Service using the JAR file. So we'll be creating a Spring Boot application. For this Spring Boot application, we'll be building it, which will create a JAR file. This JAR file will then be deployed as an Azure Web App Service using the Azure Web App Maven plugin, which is provided to us by Microsoft. Once deployed, the service can then be accessed by the user. So let us begin with the implementation part. For this, go to Spring Initializer site. And here we'll be creating a Spring Boot application. I'll be using 3.2.7 version for Spring Boot. Give the group as com.java news. Artifact, give it as boot Azure apps. We'll be adding only the web dependency. In point generate. So this will download the project. So here I've imported the downloaded Maven project. If you go to the pong.xml, here we have the Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency that we had specified in the Spring Initializer site. Let us build this project. Right click on pong.xml, run as Maven install. So this will download the dependencies that we have specified in the pong.xml. So here the Maven build is successful. Next we'll be creating a controller class where we'll be exposing a get endpoint with the URL slash test, which will just return a string hello Java in use. So let us create this class. Here in Eclipse, I'll be creating it in the same package. Copy the contents of this class. So we are done with all the changes. Let us start the Spring Boot application. Run as Java application. This will start the Spring Boot application on port 80. So here the Spring Boot application it has started on port 80. If you now go to the address localhost 80 slash test, here we can see that hello java and news is successfully returned. Next, in order to deploy the Spring Boot application jar file to Azure App Service, in the pom.xml, we need to add the Azure Web App Maven plugin. So here in the plugin section, we'll need to add this plugin, which is provided to us by Microsoft, Azure Web App Maven plugin. So copy this, go to the pom.xml and add it here. Next, we'll be building this form.xml using the maven command azure web app config. So, copy this. In Eclipse, right click on the form.xml run as and select the second maven build. And here, add this command as azure hyphen web app config. Apply run. So, this will download the azure web app maven plugin dependencies. Also, it will add some more configuration to the azure web app plugin that we have added. So this is the additional configuration that it will be adding. In order to deploy the Spring Boot JAR file to Azure Web App Service, this is the additional configuration that has been added. So in order to deploy the Spring Boot JAR file to the Azure portal, the resource group is specified as Boot Azure Apps and some number here. So I'll be modifying this. Next in the app name, this will be the Azure Web App Service name that will be deployed. So again, I'll be modifying this also. The rest I'll be keeping it as same. I'll be adding some more configuration here. Next, next the deployed Azure Web App Service, we want to run it on port 80. For this, we'll be adding some more configuration. So in the configuration, we'll be adding the app settings. So in app settings, we have the properties and here we have specified the Java options using which we'll be specifying the environment variable server.port which we are specifying as 80. So copy this and add it here. These are the only changes required. Let us build this project again, run as maven install. So a jar file will get created here, which we are deploying it to the Azure portal as an Azure Web App Service. Next, open a command prompt and using Azure CLI, we'll be logging into the Azure portal. For this, the command is PZ login. Select your Azure account. So here we have logged in successfully. Next, using the Azure Web App Maven plugin command, we'll be deploying the jar file to the Azure portal as an Azure Web App Service. For this, the command is mvn azure hyphen web app colon deploy. So copy this command. Also, before running this command, make sure that you are at the correct Spring Boot application project location. Click enter. So this will deploy the jar file as an Azure Web App Service. So here it is showing that the deployment is successful. If you now go to the Azure portal, go to App Services. So here we can see that the jar file it has been deployed as an Azure Web App Service with the name Boot Azure Apps Java in use. So go to this App Service, go to the URL here. 
the complete URL is slash test. So here we are getting hello Java in use correctly. So we have successfully deployed the jar file as an Azure web app service. Hope you have understood this tutorial. You can download the source code for this example from here. Thank you.